Okay, so for the following circuit here, uh, we're told that the switch has been closed for a very long time and it opens when t is zero. And then we have to find the formula for i of t when t is greater than zero. So, so for, for when t is less than zero, the switch has been closed for a very long time. Wait, let me redraw that. Wait, let me uh, uh, do a color of white. So the switch has been closed for a very long time. Then we have this inductor here, another resistor, and then a current source. So this is 9 amps, this is 10 ohms, 1.5 henrys, then 5 ohms here. And then we have a current value of I passing through this uh, in inductor. Now, all current will it'll never go through this resistor it'll, because we have this wire here without any resistors, and current will choose the path with no resistors if there if it's available. So we can ignore this portion of the circuit. So it'll be redrawn like this. Now let's find the voltage at this inductor. So it'll be equal to the inductance value times the change in current over the change in time. And we're told that the switch has been closed for a very long time. So we're going to make the assumption that T is infinity. So something over infinity is zero. So this value will be short circuited because the voltage will be zero. All right. Now we can solve. So let's let me rewrite the resistor properly. Actually, I don't even have to rewrite it. Okay. So what will uh, again? Let me erase this. What will our I value be passing through this wire? Well. We see there's a current of 9 amps pass, uh, moving through here. And again, it's going to choose the path with no resistors if it's available. So it's going to choose this path. So that means when t is less than 0, i will be equal to 9. Okay. So now when t is equal to 0, we open this switch. So it'll look something like this. Obviously, this part is open. And then we have this. All right. So uh, what, what does this mean for the current passing through this uh, inductor? Well, we know when T was less than 0, it was 9 amps. And when t is equal to 0, the current uh, at t0 will also be 9 amps because the current passing through the inductor can change instantaneously. Okay? So now let's focus on when t is greater than 0. Well, we're going to make the assumption that it's been greater than 0 for a very long time. So that means the voltage at this inductor will be the inductance value times the change in uh, current over the change in time. Time will be infinity. So the voltage will be zero passing through this inductor so we can short circuit it. Now all we gotta do is find the current passing through here. So let's do a nodal analysis. Let's call this V. And let's have a current passing through here called I1. And let's call this current I. So node V will be equal to I will be equal to I. So node V will be equal to I plus I1, which are leaving the node. And this will be equal to 9, which is entering it. So it will be V minus 0 all over 5 plus V all over 10 equals 9. Now let's solve for V. So 1 over 5 plus uh, 1 over 10. That's 0 0.3 V equals 9. So V will be equal to... 30 volts and we see i equals v over 5 so i will be 6 amps okay but this i it will not represent i for it will not ever represent uh, i when t is greater than 0 this will represent i when uh, t is infinity okay so this will be i infinity to find the formula to represent i when t is greater than 0 We'll have to use the following formula. Uh, uh, it, it, so to okay, so the following formula will look like this. 
i of t is equal to i infinity plus i of 0 minus i infinity times e to the power of t over the time constant. To know when to use this formula, there has to be a source involved when your switch is on and off. So when this switch was on, there was this source involved. And when it was off, this source was still involved. So we can use this formula. Now we just have to find this t. This t is the time constant. And it's equal to the inductance value all over the resistance equivalent between those between that terminal. So recall when t was greater than zero, there was uh, an induct sorry, the inductor was uh, here, my bad. The inductor there was an in inductant there was an inductor here. Okay, so we just have to find the resistance equivalent between this terminal. We we can turn off this source because it's an independent volt a current source, so we replace it with an open wire. So the current so the circuit simplifies to this, and the resistance equivalent will be just 10 plus 5 because those are the only two resistors here. So the resistance equivalent will be 15, and the inductance value was 1.5 henries. So the time constant will be 0 0.1 seconds. Now let's find the formula. Let's find the formula for it. So it's I infinite, which is 6, plus I0, which was 9, minus 6, times e to the power of t over time constant, which is 0 0.1. So it's 6 plus 9 minus uh, 6, which is 3, e to the power of t over 0 0.6. So 1 over 0 0.6, that's, sorry, t, to, t over 0 0.1. So 1 over 0 0.1, that's 10. So it's minus 10t. And this is in amps. And that's your final answer for uh, when t is greater than zero.